And the suspect, former UGA wide receiver Akil Crumpton, is charged with killing Elijah Wood. Fox News' Portia Bruner joins us from the live desk with more on the arrest. Portia. Yeah, we're talking about more than 50 persons of interest investigated over the last year and dozens of search warrants executed. But when it was all said and done, the sheriff says this case was solved with ballistic evidence from a murder 700 miles away from the crime scene in Oconee County. Almost one year to the day that Elijah James Wood was murdered in Oconee County, an arrest comes early Wednesday morning in Pennsylvania. The sheriff says the man seen in this surveillance video the night of March 19th, 2021, has now been identified as Akil Nasir Crumpton, a Philly native and former UGA student. I mean, you just never know what, what people have going on. So, yeah, I mean, definitely a surprise, but, um, I mean, we just never know what people are going through and um, sad, sad for their families and just everyone. Wood was working the night shift at the racetrack on Highway 441 when he was fatally shot. The murder left the Athens and Oconee County communities in shock and loved ones in anguish as the gunman remained on the run. Wood's brother-in-law spoke to Fox 5 in July about the long quest for justice. Once sentenced, then we'll have some relief of it, and then they can actually be some forgiven from it because we're a godly family. Friends and authorities contributed to the award for an arrest, but there wasn't a break in the case until 11 months after the clerk's brutal murder. On February 15th, ATF agents informed Oconee County Sheriff's investigators of a ballistic match on the gun used in the crime. The sheriff says the match showed the same gun was used in a fatal shooting in Philadelphia after Woods' murder. Wednesday morning in Pennsylvania, Oconee County Sheriff's investigators, along with members of the ATF, FBI, and Philadelphia Police Department, arrested Crumpton. Crumpton played football for the Bulldogs for two seasons, including this long touchdown catch against Georgia Tech in 2017. He was also on the field later that season for the winning play when the Bulldogs won the Rose Bowl over Oklahoma, sending Georgia to the national championship game. News of his early morning arrest, tough to understand, but a relief nonetheless. Uh, the community has kind of rallied around just this story and around this racetrack and everything. Um, so it is, it is a bit of a relief to just be able to see that, you know, the person responsible has finally been able to be brought to justice. Oconee County Sheriff James Hale says the investigation is not closed just yet. He's scheduled to discuss the arrest of Akil Crumpton, Crumpton rather, and discuss the link between the two murders at a news conference tomorrow morning.